Hello, it's Mark with Mark's Astro Journey. I'm here to talk to you about Celestron's Power Seeker EQ 127 Reflector Telescope. This is the first telescope I bought, and I'll just go ahead right away up front and admit, when I bought this telescope, I didn't do enough research. I did look at some reviews online and read some of those, and also read the marketing and specification the details about the telescope but I was new to the hobby I didn't really have that much background knowledge and I should have got better educated so after owning the telescope there are a number of things I learned that caused me to come to the conclusion I made a mistake I shouldn't have bought this telescope I should have done more research I'm going to share 10 of those reasons with you and I created a series of brief videos sharing each of those reasons if you enjoy this video, you might want to look at some of the other reasons that I share about why you should reconsider purchasing this telescope. So let's get started. Next, I want to talk to you about the two eyepieces that come with this telescope. One is four millimeter, the other is 20 millimeter. The 20 millimeter it has on the side of it, in the name, erecting eyepiece. It has an erecting prism that's permanently installed in the eyepiece to flip objects to be right side up. And I found that both of these eyepieces are not really that great a quality. They're okay. But um, this one is the one you'll end up using if you were to buy this telescope because it's the one that's really halfway usable. It does have the eye relief, which is nice, so that um, if you, you know, you can either have uh, glasses on and you would have that down, or if you don't have glasses, you'd be able to have that up and it blocks the light uh, around where your eyes uh, approaching the eyepiece. And then this eyepiece, the four millimeter, I, I just want to tell you that um, this is kind of crazy. So you see this little tiny hole? That's what you have to look through. It's kind of like looking through a drinking straw. And although you could, like if you're looking at the moon and you put this four millimeter on, you can get like a close up view. It's not very crisp. It's not a very sharp image. So it's kind of useless that you're getting this higher magnification because you're trying to look through this tiny little hole. And who wants to do that? I didn't find that to be a very enjoyable experience. And then the other thing that's kind of a little crazy is I'll turn it upside down. They give you a three times Barlow lens. And you notice if you look at the uh, marketing on the telescope, what it says, I, I printed it off from the, the website. It says um, the Celestron Power Seeker 120-70Q telescope comes with two quality eyepieces, 20 millimeter and four millimeter, plus a three times Barlow lens to triple the power of each. Well, it's kind of ridiculous uh, taking this four millimeter with this telescope with the poor quality optics and trying to triple the power of this four millimeter. Um, I tried that a few times with this Barlow, this three times Barlow, and it's just ridiculous. Like, it wasn't like there's something you would be able to see better. You're not gonna see it better. I, I, it made me think of, um, you know, if you've ever lived around a rock quarry, one of those one of those places where they have those massive machines, they have those huge trucks. It's it's like it reminded me of Tonka toys when I was a kid. So it has that massive bed on the back back right, and that's because they're trying to haul large amounts of rock, you know, that they're quarrying out. But imagine taking one of those. I don't know what the size of those beds are on those massive dump trucks but the wheels on those trucks are bigger than taller than a than a truck or a car a normal truck or car so imagine how big that bed is imagine if you took that bed and you said i've got this ford f-150 or this chevy you know silverado or c10 truck and i wanted to be able to haul more so i'm going to get one of those beds from one of those massive dump trucks from the rock quarry i'm going to put it on my silverado or on my f-150 yeah, you could get more in that bed, but what would happen? It, it's, it's too much for your truck. Your truck couldn't move because the bed would weigh so much, the truck would be underpowered. And so I guess what, what I'm trying to get to with my analogy is it would be ridiculous. Nobody would put that massive bed from a rock quarry truck on a normal pickup truck. 
So a three times Barlow lens combined with the poor optics of this telescope and then an eyepiece like this or the 20 millimeter, it's a little crazy. It, it doesn't mean you're going to get to see something much better. It, it, it doesn't mean that your viewing experience is going to be awesome because you can multiply that times three. I found trying to combine this with the eyepieces, it was really pretty useless. So I was not using the three times Barlow. Well, I hope you found hearing my experience with this telescope helpful. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I created a series of these videos just to keep them brief, you could look at the ones that you're interested in, where I talk about the different reasons that I really wouldn't recommend this telescope. You might wanna check out some of the others and they're in the description of this video. If you enjoy videos of this type, dealing with astronomy and astrophotography, I also encourage you to subscribe to my channel, leave any comments you have after you watch the video. I always enjoy hearing the viewers' feedback and I'm wishing you clear skies.